the first decent sunrise of the trip. Last night it absolutely blew a gale, as it is still. Um, the rain has blown away, as you can see, which is good, but the wind is going to last all of today. So we're hold up in our sleeping gear, staying warm. Um, the wind should be a tailwind for most of our trip. Today we've got, they've said, eight hours of walking. Uh, we'll see how long it takes us. The sun! Yay! <laughs> we wouldn't have said that two days ago, but today that site is pretty good. So we're just packing up. Tony's wringing out all my wet buffs and gloves from yesterday. Forgot to do that yesterday. And then we're packing up and then heading off to Simpson's Gap. We're both wrapped up pretty warm. I've got gloves on and a buff. And Wally had, as you can see, ilky has got all the layers on again. Something neither of us expected when we came out here, but we're really happy that we brought it all with us. You gotta be ready for everything, no matter where you're hiking. So today is 26K to Simpsons Gap. It's gonna be pretty flat, I think. The, the map showed it was pretty bloody flat. Um, so it's just a matter of getting to Simpsons tonight and then we've got another 24k into Alice tomorrow morning. So I think the next couple of days are going to be pretty uneventful. But tomorrow's going to be a bit chillier as well I think with less wind. So today's issue is the wind and tomorrow's issue is just going to be the cooler temperature down in the teens. So we just keep going. Halfway through the day's distance, feeling pretty good. Just gone for quarter past 11, including a stop. Some more remnants of last night's storm, yesterday's storm. This whole creek screwed up. Here we are at Bond Gap, having some lunch. Tony's had to unpack his whole bag because the lunch bag was at the bottom because of yesterday's rain and we didn't repack properly this morning but it's quite nice beautiful sunny day not too hot just over Elke's head is Simpsons Gap that's our destination for the night but at the moment we're just meandering following the contours of the land so much that it feels like we're not making any progress whatsoever as we turn our back on it and walk away and we're meant to be going over to there nice walking but frustrating that we're not actually making feeling like we're making progress Simpsons Gap is directly over there. We just spent the last hour and a half meandering around what feels like the wrong bloody direction. Going this way, they could just send us over this hill and we'd be there. Okay, definitely making progress towards Simpsons Gap now. We can actually see it. I think I can always see something like a roof shimmering in the distance. And after all that bitching and moaning, we've missed the turn off to the shelter and we ended up at the stinkiest set of toilets in the Northern Territory, in the public area.
the hidden Larapinta shelter. No actual signage to its location. No anything. Doesn't even say it's a Larapinta shelter out here. So as normal, we kind of explode when we get to the shelter. But I've got my bed set up. Well, Tony's mattress that I'm now using because mine's still a bit leaky. And then we've just dried the tent because it was a bit wet from Tony's bag and along with drying some other stuff. And then we're just going to head out uh, and get some town water from Simpson's Gap, which is pretty much 200 metres down instead of pressing water. And now second course, cheesy mashed potato with prosciutto. Mm. Last day, so it's a bit of everything. Guys, not on trail. Look at you, Simpsons. Get Nothing to show. Very good trip. It has been a very good trip. Just a, just a six-hour burn into town tomorrow.